April 7th, Blessed Mary Assunta Palotta, Virgin Third Order. In May 1904, this charming ornament of the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary knelt before Pius X to ask his blessing before setting out on her journey for the Chinese mission. Fifty years later, another pious conferred on her the honors of the altar when he beatified her on the 7th of November, 1954. Blessed Mary Assunta hails from Piceno and was born in 1878. In her youth, she was obliged to perform every manner of lowly service in order to help her parents who were in straitened circumstances. She, had, she attracted everybody by her modest reserve. Nobody could have found it in him to speak a coarse word in her presence. Jesus in the tabernacle was the love of her soul. After she had been invested with the holy habit about among the Franciscan missionaries of Mary, she formed a definite resolution which became the motto of her life, I will become a saint. She delighted in taking the last place. On the journey to the Chinese mission in the spring of 1904, a severe storm arose. She was asked whether she was afraid or not, but she calmly replied, I have nothing to fear. It is all the same to me whether I arrive at my goal or whether I am drowned in the depths of the sea, just so that the will of God is accomplished. At the Franciscan mission of Tung Er Kao in Shanxi, she was at once appointed to the duties of the orphanage. Meanwhile, her union with God was so intimate that no external occupation could disturb it. The, sign, the task assigned her by providence to win the uh, unbelievers for Christ by her own holy and innocent life, as well as by her holy death, was shortly to be accomplished. Within a year after her arrival in, in the pagan land, Mary Assunta was attacked by typhus and died a victim of love on April 5, 1905, at the early age of 27 years. Pagans, as well as Christians, hastened to her grave to implore her powerful intercession in the most varied needs. On modest demeanor, one, a modest demeanor is a means of edification. This is evidenced in the life of Mary, Blessed Mary Sunto, who by her modest and reserved conduct fascinated every, even the rudest characters. She was treated, she was treading in the footsteps of St. Francis. Taking with him Brother Leo, St. Francis one day went out to preach. The pair, the pair walked about the streets of Assisi in silence and with eyes cast down. Presently they returned to the convent without having said a word. Wondering, Brother Leo addressed the saintly father, saying, But did we not intend to preach? St. Francis replied, We did preach. Always keep in mind the words of the apostle, Let your modesty be known to all men. Philippians 4, 5. Two, modesty reserve is necessary. The senses are the doors and windows of the soul. If we do not keep a guard over them by means of modest reserve, the spirit of the world will enter in by the senses to destroy the spirit of Christ. And so, by lack of care in guarding them, we readily lose what we have acquired with the grace of God through much effort. The attire of the body and the laughter of the teeth and the gait of the man show what he is. Ecclesiasticus 19.27 what does your exterior conduct betray? Must you hear and see everything that is going on about you? Do you belong to those who disedify others wherever you, they go by their lack of self-restraint and reserve? Is it not time for you to be on your guard? Three, exterior modesty must go hand in hand with a well-ordered interior. If the heart does not put a check on its disorderly inclinations of what purpose is a modest or reserved exterior. But a well-ordered interior can be developed and preserved by remembering the presence of God and of our guardian angel. Hence the apostle writes, let your modesty be known to all men, the Lord is near. Philippians 4, 5. Often during the day, direct your thoughts briefly or fervently to God omnipotent. Let us pray. We beseech you, O Lord, may the offerings of our prayer obtain for us the grace of true humility and remove from our hearts the concupiscence of the eyes, the flesh, and the pride of life, so we may live soberly, justly, and piously, and thus arrive at the eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed Mary Assunta Palotta, pray for, pray for us. us.